Bruh. <laughs> I'm working on a video for October. I'm gonna make that October's Patreon and post it, and then I'm still gonna have to do some stuff for November and the $20 tier as well. I'm probably gonna rethink how I'm doing it and uh, redo all the graphics and stuff here. Uh, as time goes on, probably not right away, but I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about how I wanna do things from here. But uh, once a month, I'm gonna cut up you know, whatever I film into, like, um, these kind of ADD videos where I just, like, take the footage and edit together in some fashion, you're gonna get some really all over the place shit, but, uh, that, that allows me to test footage and get input on what people do and don't like as I build audience, so, we'll do it this way for now, see how it goes, uh, so you're gonna get one for October, as soon as I edit this video, and I'll go straight into editing one for November. So, uh, we might just do these at the end of the month. So, maybe I'm filming now, and I'll film more. And this will be a part of November. Uh, November's perks for Patreon. Either way, the content's piling up, and I'm already kind of doing more than I anticipated doing this. So... That being said, I thought I would make a part of this October Patreon since I'm kind of dry with uh, the virus going around. Um, so, you know, I'm strapped for doing things that were cool for just Halloween. And of course, I got music videos and new songs in the works. Slowly but surely getting finished. Uh, wrenches along the way or speed bumps along the way it'll get done I'm still working on it it'll be sooner than later but we're in overtime again doing this anyway I thought I would do a tour of the studio in light of everything and make this a part of what's special about it we're special about this video for this month. People have been sort of interested. Quite frankly, this ain't impressing me like this. Thing. This has been like fucking good decade since it's been heated up last. More like a year, but it was obviously sludge it worked out. Oh my god. It did this so much better last year. This is what it does. Poor ass fog machine. I'm glad we're warming it up in September. Maybe if we do this a couple times a month, we'll be ready for our. What the hell is it? There we go. I mean, it's already gotten the fucking visibility way down lower than I would expect it to be. <laughs> Do <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the garage caught fire. 
Oh my god! <laughs> I just never get around to it, so... This is the setup for now. Uh, closet's just full of junk, it's whatever. Crap I'm not using, boxes, paperwork, blah blah blah, all that fun stuff. Of course here's some of the stuff from the... I had to repair that laptop. That was an upgrade until I fucking cracked the screen with the pen. We learned a lesson there. Uh, then of course this is stuff I'm working on. The dog head that's getting animated or fitted with electronics, servos, what are we doing? and stuff so I can yeah. program it. And then of course working on the wolf head. Uh, it did look different in the Not A Friend video. And this will see reworks again for a feature length film that may or may not tie into certain ideas. Every Everything's connected in my world, but uh, we're bare bones right now. The jaw needs to be worked on. Uh, this is piece is going to be matched to the... Let me just lay this phone down here since it's charging and I'm not using it. We're gonna, this servo's gonna control this shit. We got rods for the jaw. So we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna be able to program the jaw to do some movement. It's one of our, one of our. And of course I just bought a pack of ping pong balls to uh, do eyeballs. So, they're all clear. No print or anything, so I can, uh, you feel me? That just, like, kind of bulging is creepy on its own. But, uh, one, one will be static. And it's gonna be taped in here like that. In some manner here in a minute. That's gonna be the dead eye, and it doesn't move. And then, of course, this one will be painted and will move up and down, left to right, in some capacity. I'd like to set it so it's on a controller. We can control it from the cell phone or something. I don't know. Once we got it to the point we can program it, you know, it's all a matter of how I pair the servos up with the eyeballs and the one will be dead so that'll be static that that means I can just tape that one in and paint it however and then we got two more servos between that eyeball and the jaw and then of course we've got the raven build coming up and I think that right off the bat that's enough to add like We just getting started. That's a ping pong ball. That's all I added. You know what I mean? We're finding shit around the house to one static eye makes it like that much creepier, that much evil dead looking. It's got a little bit of that deadite look and feel to it. So I got the red pen. This is a red pen. And now, uh, I'll show you this. There's a little view. View there. I just want to kind of look veiny.
already at kind of this right now. Not sure how the other eye will come out, but this one will be static, it'll just stay like that. It's supposed to be the dead eye. I know all. Relay board project with the Arduino. I was working on the control these lights, which should be used in the, the same music video as the dog head, and uh, kind of showcase all that. But yeah, had all that going on over there, and then of course over here is where I would be doing the game streams, right? And then we got art on the walls. I'll go over some of that because some of that is uh, pieces for sale as one friend wanted to see them and uh, talk to me about prices and stuff. But yeah, you see all the games and stuff. Normally there's the cart in here and uh, the cart is in the other room for now while we're redoing the living room. We don't have the projector and the screen for watching movies so is what it is. We got that my TV out there for now as our a uh, streaming source, okay, and then um, box going out to one of the lovely supporters in the group. Um, <clears throat> this one is one of the few I'd be willing to part with, but just kind of an abstract. I guess it's like a skull with a pentagram and the. I don't know, and it's got leaves crumpled up into the paint before it dried. Some weird piece I did forever and ever ago. I used this to animate an ad. And that one's, uh, just sitting here now. That's, uh, if you've seen the animated ad I have up now for, uh, that's just to showcase the music and the YouTube channel in general, because I'm trying to get stats to YouTube. That's what that is. And then we got my signed GUR print. I had to have the Horcore GUR. If anybody knows, this is the picture of GUR in the cell that uh, the way I read it was uh, they weren't supposed to implement any gore into the series. And so this is a quick frame in the intro. That you can find in the intro of the show. It was kind of in spite of that, they say. I don't know how true it is right now. I'd have to confirm that, and I can't. <laughs> and then I bought this at the same time. Another artist did these out of uh, this coffee stain watercolor paintings. So this is all, all done in coffee. And then, of course, this is a reprint or print of that original artwork done in coffee and then this is a uh, one that is for sale there's just some uh, abstract flair in my 1020 flavor this one is also one I'm willing to part with and it glows in the dark as well as being UV reactive uh, I might be willing to part with this one this is uh, construction paper kind of the same style South Park's done to make this kind of pot leaf with the background it's framed that one I might part with uh, and then these three over here I'm not this is something to do with the third album coming out and that bat mask you keep seeing uh, there's just sneak peeks this month you're not gonna see much more of that until later much later and I will be paying a producer for that album so We'll see what happens. Uh, and then this is Bertha May painting. She was the influence at least. And then uh, this is just a 10, 1020 learning some uh, Japanese and stuff. So these three are kind of, these are here for me to stare at and get something from. But this one I'm also willing to part with. It's like mechanical antler skull guy. I don't know. Mm, random prints and then over here we have odds and ends there's a 
a lot of roommates books and stuff this is uh just learning material and shit with the shared shared uh audio equipment like guitars of well, course you see two electric and then we got the pedals and whatnot over there and then the Casio of course then the new mark is mine and then we got the cockpit set up over here and I'm editing this video as we speak so this is the setup I'm making music on all of it functional this is the pieces we have right now, the sample pad, which I'm going to have to work with. It needs to be opened up and resoldered on one of these pads and uh, need to give it some TLC. And I just haven't got around to it. Haven't done it since we ordered off of eBay a couple years ago. But I want to uh, learn to do more with this and implement it into the process. And I'm practicing on the pad still, so... I'm trying to do that as frequently as possible, but I've been stuck on this bad boy, TR8, learning it to go with the, uh, the Korg. I got my fits now. The Korg and that is all I need to make what I'm making right now. And then, of course, I'm learning guitar and drums, live guitar and live drums, so I can do more of that. But then we're also drawing and animating more, so this is a gift from one of our, one of my patreon supporters and i'm super grateful thank you patreon supporter but uh yeah sent me the watered down welcome tablet we're gonna make use of that it's gonna be huge ups from this motherfucker which is it's not bad on its own but it's one of those styles it's like you don't get this gives me a screen i can see what the hell i'm doing in front of me and i i feel like it's rubbing your belly and patting your head trying to use that type of tablet like that and I just never got the hang of those and don't care for them this is gonna make life a lot easier for me in terms of doing digital art and getting more into animating as I make moves into that of course the road the microphone I used to record on in here is kinda janky cause I need to finish uh sound treating the room but and I've been working had got around to doing all the things I want done in here yet and due time anyway here's a you'll see some of these develop here but I got this alien piece he's another one I'm willing to part with as well as this is like devil pig kind of happened as Black Lives Matter movement and all these videos were surfacing and police brutality. So I feel like somewhere in there it was comparing cops to the devil. I don't know. Not intentionally. Just. Thank you. 
Just my thoughts coming out onto it. Of course, this is just the back of this one here. Oh, and then of course, Bertha May's got her own spot here next to the printer and shipping receipt. Crap, that's something for me to circuit bend or make my break into circuit bending. I haven't gotten around to it yet. And then records record player I'm just janky little setup i haven't have anything serious yet but i have something to play the few records i did buy because i wanted them <clears throat> but that's just the back of this one and then this is literally spray paint onto the cardboard and this should be a kind of uv reactive let me just with the black light so this one and the right lighting glows in certain spots that one definitely does and it glows in the dark you'll see it on the wall in the dark whether the UV light is on or not and that's pretty much it and that stuff and this one, I don't know, the white, yeah, it's all UV, the orange and the, well, it looks like just the orange colors. You'd figure the white would be a little more reactive than it is, but yeah, it's just a eye that will light up in a UV or a black light. That's what that head looks like in the UV. <coughs> But that's just some of the equipment. We got the Korg TR8. This is what the cockpit looks like. This is where I'm doing production. This is pretty much the basic setup in here. And then uh, there's just some stuff on the wall over there. There's personal stuff and notes and things, reminders, and then. There's some comics I need to get graded over here, and of course my books, and more books to get graded and such, and then usually there's more masks on display over here, but they are out in uh, the trunk of the car in a box right now, because I got all that stuff ready to go for music videos and such here in the very near future, hopefully, but uh, eh. That's uh, all the paintings I have in here and stuff right now for the Patreon that wanted to see those. Uh, we can inquire about pricing and I can take pictures of them so you can see like still photos of them. But that's everything in the studio right now I'm willing to part with and that gives you an idea of what I have. So uh, that will conclude the tour. I'm going to add this into the video I'm already editing and there will be some other stuff in there and then uh, from there I'll go straight into the one for November and then uh, get that one up and I guess we'll, we'll start doing these towards the end of the month so you'll see that one towards the end of November but I'll go straight into working on it and that puts out something for October and uh, again sorry for the dry month I have more planned but uh Things just weren't coming to fruition this year, and I think we all can make sense of that, and uh, hopefully, you know, I can keep this interesting, considering, so we'll do, we'll do lots with the drones for now, we'll do lots with the BattleBot for now, uh, BattleBot is slowly moving into 
motion, all the parts are in, Cummins paid for our list, and we have everything we need to bring the Definistrator back to life and make him fully functional, and we will be applying for now. There's still a process to go through, and we can still not get picked up for next season, so, you know, we have to apply, and we have to get our design approved and all this stuff, so... That's where we're at now, but uh, three-time IQ champion. We're confident, and uh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it good. We're gonna bring it back better, stronger, with fire. Fire this time, so it's gonna breathe fire, and that's my job. And then later it'll be my job to make it look cool, and it'll come together. And uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, the battle bot especially, and then uh. The drone stuff kind of goes hand in hand with BattleBots, and there will inevitably be a drone added to our team. We'll have several bots, trust me. I, uh, the Definistrator is a definite in right now, so we're focused there. And Cummins has paid quite a bit of money for parts on that bitch, so... <laughs> you know, it's all stalled right now, but we'll get there. And the future looks really exciting, and it's been a lot of fucking hard work to get to this point, and I uh, can't wait to show some of it off. But, uh, yeah, that's the studio I'm working in for now, as is, and, uh, need, need lots of upgrades in here, not even gonna lie, I'm gonna show you the computer I'm using is just this old Dell. And I'm running Windows 7, which is starting to see the end of its lifespan. So, yeah, I'm looking to upgrade and fast, like ASAP, and that'll be next up. But right now, I'm trying to figure out my new format, get back in the swing of things, and uh, I like to work with what I've got. So, I'll make this shit work for now. And then I'll have content coming out regardless. I mean,. It's too easy this day and age to do what I'm doing right now, and uh, this is, I mean, considerably, it could be turned into work, and it could be turned into money if you do it right, and we're working on that, and we're going down that path, but for now, we just need to work on image and getting content out there. This is how I'm going to do it for now, so I really appreciate everybody sticking with me and supporting, and I got much love for you guys, and... Uh, Hope you enjoyed this little clip here.